Hey guys, Brian delivers you the goods here. Sorry that my hair is messy. I just had to do some chores for a little bit and it was hot outside for sure because I had to do it outside mostly. But pretty much I'm returning to you for this Tuesday album review for Season 5, Episode 10 for the Motionless and White Disguise re-review. This is a re-review for their album because I actually listened to this album back in 2019 um, but I'm going to discuss what I think of it as of now, uh, in 2023, because I know this is going to be the last Motionless and White album I review in their discography. Um, I think I've reviewed their other ones, if I remember correctly. I'm not sure, but I will go back and look and see if I did. But basically, I'm going to discuss what I listened to for this 12-track album. Uh, it technically is 11 songs, because the last song is Catharsis. But uh, somebody told me was a bonus track, the Killers uh, Verge cover track that they did is the official final track for this album. So for the deluxe edition, of course, the bonus disc special edition or whatever. So let's dive right into this 11 track album plus the extra song somebody told me, the Killers cover. Now I'm going to start with the first song, Disguise, the title track. I actually was really entertained with this track. Chris Motionless's vocals sound really good, um, and this song is a headbanger for sure. And I like the lyrics for the song, with what it's talking about, like how he feels rejected from society, and he has to wear a disguise to basically hide the person he is, the monster that he really is. But I don't know. It's something having to do with uh, some kind of identity thing or whatever, I don't know, but pretty much the song was really entertaining, I like the lyrics, and Chris Motionless's vocals are pretty good, and the drum work and guitar work is the best part, so 5 out of 5. Headache is technically, uh, I saw an interview, this is basically talking about schizophrenia, this song, um, so I... I don't know, some of the lyrics were really dark and heavy, but had a certain point, and it was a message to people that kind of saying, don't give up hope, always find a way to beat that darkness. Uh, they're mostly kind of talking about the topic schizophrenia, because that's what the song is basically talking about with the lyrics as you read through it with the uh, kind of like voices and all that stuff talking to you and telling you to do stuff like this. So that is what the song is basically pertaining about. So I like the meaning behind the song um, with what it's kind of talking about in this track. It's it really uh, sends a message to kind of don't give up hope and don't let those voices overtake you. Um, that people that go through schizophrenia, so it's not really something to stigmatize because that just people go through their own shit every day, but people that go through this stuff, it it's a challenge. But pretty much five out of five for headache. Uh, code, it kind of sounds like a Lincoln Park numb uh, version to it. Um. Like, it sounds like numb. Sorry, I was throwing something away. Um, like, the melody and how the synths sound, it almost sounds like the Linkin Park numb melody, mostly. That felt like it was ripping off, but they did make it entertaining to a point where I do like this track. So, I'd give this a 5 out of 5, too. I mean, yeah, the melody might seem rip-off-ish, but I think with what they went for, I think... Chris Motionless and the band made the track work. Thoughts and Prayers is a pretty heavy song, and I really like the music video. The music video, I guess, was talking about Christians and all that, because I don't think Chris Motionless is a Christian. But, hey, I'm not either. I mean, I'm kind of ignorant about my Christianity, but I'm spiritual. I would just say I'm spiritual, mostly. I just wouldn't pertain to uh, Christianity. I just 
I don't know, I'm just spiritual mostly. And I don't want to bring up Christianity about it, because I just... You'll see ignorance from coming out of me for that. Uh, five out of five for Thoughts and Prayers. Still a very entertaining track to this day, and I really enjoyed it. Legacy is a solid track, not my personal favorite, but it does do all right for what it goes for. So 4.5 out of 5. It's just the melody is simple, and just the way it sounds, it's all right. Then comes Undead Ahead 2, The Tale of the Midnight Ride. Very good song. Uh, it's a Halloween track for sure. Uh, about the Headless Horseman. Uh, the Sleepy Hollow movie is what they're pertaining this song to be. But it was a very well done track. And Chris Motionless' screams and his clean vocals in the track and the chorus sound very good. And this song is definitely a banger. I would definitely headbang to this song so many times. Even at their concert. If I decided to go to it one day. So, 5 out of 5 for Undead Ahead 2, Tale of the Midnight Ride, or The Tale of the Midnight Ride. Holding On to Smoke is a solid one. I wasn't sure if I was going to like this, um, to be honest. I thought it was going to be one of my favorites, but it's kind of, I kind of grew out of this song a bit. This song is not bad, it's just not my personal favorite track, so 4.5 out of 5. Another Life is a very... A emotional track with how Chris Motionless is singing it at times and I like it when the chorus comes in it just feels like Chris Motionless's vocals sound really good in this track and just the what the song's talking about is kind of sad and emotional of a track so really dug this song for what it goes for five out of five Broadcasting from Beyond the Grave, Death Incorporated is solid. I think this was the weakest uh, broadcasting from Beyond the Grave. I think Corpse Nation was the best, in my opinion, from the scoring the End of the World album, uh, which was the new album, the last album they made, which highly recommend you pick up that album from CD. It's worth it. It is a great album. It, it's just filled with a lot of good bangers and... Filled with a lot of good material from Motionless. So, pretty much uh, 4.5 out of 5 for Broadcasting from Beyond the Grave, Death Incorporated. Not my favorite one, but I kind of thought I was going to like it. But it just, it's the sense. And the way it sounds with the lyrics is, mm, it's alright. Brand New Numb is another solid track. I'm not sure if I like it. It's kind of going for this hard rock kind of stuff with this track. But I think it works a little bit, but not too much. It's just fine. So 4.5 out of 5. Catharsis is one of my favorite tracks. Uh, it's... I have a feeling I know what the song means and the lyrics and all that. It's, the meaning behind Catharsis is something to feel or whatever. But I just personally think the track did very well with how it, uh, like a certain emotional release or whatever is what it's talking about. Um, the release of suppressed emotions, I think, is what it is. I have to look it up and see what it is. But uh, basically, 5 out of 5 for this track. I like Chris Motionless's vocals in this track. And the song overall sounds very good as the official closing track for the album. Now we're going to talk about the bonus track, Somebody Told Me, the Killers cover that they did. And this was amazing. I really liked this track for what they went for with this song. And this was a pretty well done song. Um, I'd give this a 5 out of 5 too. It was a great closing track for the full album and it did very well overall production mixing and execution wise i think motionless and white disguise this album of course because i do have the cd for it i think disguise was actually a pretty good album in my opinion um i mean there's a few songs that are my least favorites like broadcasting from beyond the grave death incorporated then Holding On Smoke, Brand New Numb, and Legacy were my least favorites. Those four songs were eh, okay. They're not great, but they're alright tracks. 
in my opinion, and the other eight songs were pretty entertaining. So if I were to give this album a score for this re-review, I'm going to give it an 8.5 out of 10 for Motionless and White Disguise. Pretty good album, definitely rocks for sure. Highly recommend you check this album out, in my opinion. But hey, we all have our likes and dislikes with music. It just you know, all comes down to respecting one another's opinion at the end of the day. So hopefully you enjoyed this Tuesday album review. The next one will be another rock album. I think the rest of the season is going to be pertaining to more rock and metal stuff. So that's what I wanted it to be focusing on. So basically 8.5 out of 10 for Motionless and White Disguise for the re-review. Thank you for watching this Tuesday album review.